people seem to have been scamming since the human race began. At least since modern recorded civilization. With every newfound technology, there seems to have been an influx of scams. Crypto has been no exception. The advent of cryptocurrency brought about the realization of how easy it was to copy legitimate projects' open source code and come up with new cryptocurrencies. 98% of ICOs, the thousands of new cryptocurrencies launched by initial coin offerings in the 2016 to 2018 crypto bubble, have since been found to have been either scams or else just colossal failures. Either way, 98% of the thousands of crypto projects of those days lost their investors' money. And yet, for all of these scams, some stand out that have scammed hundreds of millions and even billions of dollars from their victims around the world. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Metaverse Economy Channel. In this video, we are going to pour through six of the biggest cryptocurrency scams in the history of the industry. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to catch more videos like this. 1. One coin, $4 billion stolen. One coin was a Ponzi scheme posing as a cryptocurrency. Launched by self-styled crypto queen Ruja Ignatova in 2014, the scam attracted millions of investors over a two- to three-year period. Through flashy launches and catchy messaging, the glamorous Ruja convinced people in 175 countries to buy packages of educational materials and one coin tokens. She told people they were going to get rich and made them believe they were a part of something big. Sadly, the something big turned out to be a big scam. One coin claimed to be a cryptocurrency, but it never even had a blockchain behind it. It used multi-level marketing, MLM, to incentivize people to sell to friends and family. The project was not even traded on cryptocurrency exchanges, it had its own platform. In 2017, as authorities worldwide closed in on the scammers, Ruja Ignatova disappeared and has not been found since. Her brother, who took over as OneCoin CEO, was later arrested. OneCoin went on to become the biggest crypto scam in history after pulling $4 billion in its three-year run. 2. Biconnect, $2.4 billion stolen. By far, the biggest example of an initial coin offering ICO scam is Biconnect. The entire idea behind Biconnect seemed unusual to many from the start. BitConnect provided a lending platform, where users could lend the value of BitConnect coin and then receive investment payments in return. Essentially, as a BitConnect user, you would send your Bitcoin to them, and then they would use a trading bot to make huge returns on your investment. BitConnect was promising returns of up to 40% every month, allowing users to make huge profits. On top of this 40% monthly return, BitConnect was also offering daily bonuses of 20% to users. So, on paper, it seemed like a good deal. A very good deal. However, it seemed that this cryptocurrency was relying on another cryptocurrency altogether to make money. This should be an obvious red flag. Another unusual element of BitConnect was their total lack of white paper. White paper is essentially a research report or guide that can be used commercially to advise or influence customers' decision making in relation to a company. What's more, BitConnect was run anonymously. Unlike other major cryptocurrencies, no one actually knew who was behind BitConnect while it was in business. Would you trust a company with a big wad of your cash if you couldn't even find out who owned it? BitConnect didn't last for long like many other major cryptocurrencies out there today. The company was founded in February of 2016 and in January 2018, less than two years after its establishment. Texas State Securities Board issued BitConnect a cease and desist. The board did this because it was convinced that BitConnect was, in fact, a Ponzi scheme. Along with this, BitConnect had failed to remain transparent about user earnings, raising suspicions even more. Then, just two weeks later, BitConnect shut down officially. In early 2022, BitConnect founder Satish Kamhani was indicted by a U.S. grand jury on charges. He orchestrated a global Ponzi scheme that raised $2.4 billion from investors in a fraudulent cryptocurrency investment platform. 3. BitClub Network $722 billion stolen for five years, the cryptocurrency company BitClub Network made sky-high profits, while customers lost so much money that at least one lodged death threats against the company. BCN was a sophisticated scam that milked customers out of at least $722 million across five years. The company said it would make investors rich by earning them cryptocurrency. Customers could invest in BCN mining technology, which supposedly used high-powered computers to generate the cryptocurrency Bitcoin and BCN would give investors a share of the Bitcoin profits. It looked like the ultimate work-from-home scheme. Once a customer paid a $99 joining fee and at least $500 to join a mining pool, they could sit back and reap the rewards for years. Or at least that's how it would work if BCN actually owned the mining technology it advertised. But messages from the company's leaders suggested they were misleading customers from the beginning. 
BCN was not actually mining the Bitcoin it advertised. To show off its supposed growth, BCN fabricated at least one of the reviews on its site. Its website included testimonials from supposed customers who'd struck it rich on the network, including a rave review from a Brazilian man named Victor Diaz who wrote in Spanish instead of Brazil's official language of Portuguese. Unfortunately, the videos it used of mining equipment belonged to another mining farm, and it seems to have just been a Ponzi scheme from start to finish. Time finally caught up with the scam company, and its fake reviews with the leaders of the Ponzi scheme being arrested and charged to court in 2022. 4. Pincoin $660 million stolen Pincoin was one of the most promising Vietnamese cryptocurrencies business models for investors, up until May 2018. Backed by cryptocurrency company Modern Tech, it was built behind an ICO investment program that allowed around 32,000 people to invest almost $660 million. Earlier investors started receiving the first earnings in cash. Then Pincoin suddenly started to share the earnings using digital coins and iFans tokens which was another social network token launched by the same company. Once they raised around $660 million, the team disappeared from their offices and shut their website. The scammers, the missing crypto, and investors' funds remain missing till today. 5. Quadriga CX $104-5 million stolen One of the most notorious apparent exit scams was the collapse of Canadian exchange Quadriga CX. In early 2019, the exchange disclosed months after the fact that founder Gerald Cotton had died of complications from Crohn's disease while on a trip to India. His sudden death, according to the exchange, had cut off access to the cold wallets, holding $104-5 million in customer tokens. Withdrawals were frozen, and the firm eventually entered bankruptcy. Angry customers and inquisitive journalists naturally did not take claims of Cotton's death at face value. Instead, they started digging and quickly realized that Gerald Cotton had never been quite the upstanding citizen his clean-cut image suggested. Speculation quickly spread that Cotton had faked his death and emptied out the Quadriga P Bank. 6. Plexcoin, $8 million stolen In 2018, the United States Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, launched its emergency action against Yan Outlet, Dominic Lacroix, and Sabrina Paradis Royer. The three, all residents of Quebec, Canada, founded PlexCore in 2017, a company that was behind a worthless token known as PlexCoin. The founders allegedly claimed investing in the token would make the investors overnight millionaires with the white paper quoting a 1,354% return on investment. As per the white paper, the funds raised via the ICO would go towards developing and maintaining the PlexCoin infrastructure. In the future, the funds would supposedly allow Plex Core to offer additional products and services. The three also claimed that they had a global team of financial and managerial experts based in Singapore. However, the founders channeled most of the money into their personal bank accounts and digital currency wallets for daily living expenses, home renovations, and more. The ICO, which kicked off in August 2017 and ended three months later, allegedly raised $8 million. That wraps our reveal of the six biggest crypto scams to shake the cryptocurrency industry. As you become involved in the new digital monetary mechanisms known as cryptocurrency, it doesn't take long to recognize there's risk involved in these transactions. And we're not talking about the volatility of the market. Scams are everywhere online and cryptocurrency exchanges are no different. As you consider investing in different startups and exchange platforms, be aware of the possibilities of losing your cryptocurrency investments. Are there other crypto scams that you know which I didn't mention? Let me have your responses in the comments section right now. Thanks for watching, and if you found this video useful, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe.